I think we know that way before. Yeah, I mean, sort of it proves that poker is game of yeah, skill. Yeah, it's kind of scientific pro I mean, proof, kind of, but it's, it's been proven before. You can put one person, play a sample of this, and you have an interval of confidence that uh, this guy is better than this guy. It's the yeah. same situation. Yeah, but like the, uh, this is a bad thing for poker that Librato has done is like it showed them first time in poker history machine is better than human and something at least. Before poker was uh, one of the like only games yeah. that machine is still worse than human. Incomplete information. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. time it's been beaten. Yeah, but it's like it's still not the end of the poker for sure because machine only beats poker, uh, only beats human heads in like one four form of heads up game. And like in a ring game, it will be forever till they can beat us. I think. Oh, I, I think it's. It could be done. It's not almost in many it, years. No, it almost cannot be done. There is no like there is no Nash equilibrium three-handed. Yeah, but you can. They can. I think there is a way to do it. I mean, okay, I disagree with you on that. I think they cannot beat us ring game. Really? Yeah, yeah I think so. I mean, without any colluding. And yeah, stuff, without any colluding, they cannot beat us. I think they can. I mean, I, they can right now, but maybe, I think, under five years. I, ho I want to believe they can't. <laughs> I, s I think I cannot beat it, but uh, it depends which software. I think if I think the software is perfect, I just play man. I don't think it matters too much how I play, because he's going to beat me anyway. But if I think the sw software is not perfect and such as I like, situations they're missing, I'm going to try to play some unpredictable thing that maybe the software doesn't cover. But now I think it's pretty hard. Yeah, it depends what task we got. If you have to beat it on like 10,000 hands or something not too big, you should just play very uh, gambly aggressive and just try to like try to hit a good variance run, you know, and like you're not going to beat it on average anyway. So you just better try to gamble it up, like go all in with some marginal hands try to win them. <laughs> I guess that's the way you should try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go a little bit other way. Like the, the things that Lee Brothers have beat humans will influence like online games a lot. Like in a couple of years there will be no heads up matches going almost at all online and I would say in all games probably but like no limit heads up is dead online now nobody's playing mostly because the machines are too good now and like if somebody's sort of using the machine help or using it it's impossible to beat him that's why online heads up no limit is dead now and like that's why for example I'm playing way more live games than online nowadays it's part of the reason why I think there will always be live poker games because still two human one against each other yeah. so i mean we can be machines because machine use strategy that human have very very hard time doing it's like uh randomizing a stuff that machine can do and human brain you always have some leveling thing in human brain so i think there will still be difference in skill between two human yeah I mean, this, like the strategies Lee Brothers is using are very, very, very complicated. And even if it beat human, and like, and you know the strategy, you, you can see the strategy it yeah. uses. It will be impossible for you to, to implement it, yeah. to implement the strategy because it's just way too complicated. It's the way it does it. I mean, it depends how how high you play and what is the format of the game you play. And if you're playing heads up and pretty high. I think the chances are like decent, decently high. But if you're playing like a ring game or a tournament, especially, it's like almost you're not gonna face any bots or anything like that. You don't need to worry about that. Even if you play like mid stakes ring game, like even if you face a bot, uh, it's good, not gonna be a too good of a bot. So you, you probably should be happy about it. <laughs> not sad. It's a little help. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is, no, it is a big help when you work on, on your game, when you try to improve your game. But in the game flow, it's not too much of a help. No, it's anyway. a little help. It's still, it's still a help. Sometimes course. you don't pay attention, especially ring game. Heads up, I don't think it matters too much. But ring game, sometimes you don't pay attention. Oh, who's that guy? I forgot. Maybe you play three tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. oh, this guy uh, opens every hand, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah but it's not the main point. I don't think it matters too much. But like, I would prefer the software to get banned everywhere, yeah. just for like amateurs to feel more comfortable think, about yeah. playing and like feel more fun. Because like, when they 
they, they know that some people are using the software and they feel like uncomfortable about playing online because of that. If that's an issue, of course, we should yeah. ban the software because it, it doesn't matter too much. I would I'm, prefer yeah, to play with exactly. no software. Amateurs uh, think it's too big of an advantage but yeah, where it is like not really a big advantage. So if they remove it and give some confidence to amateurs to play online, I think it's a good thing to remove yeah, it. Yeah, it's way better. And also like I am a little bit too lazy to lose to use the most advanced and like most complicated software as well. So I <laughs> use the simplest one. <laughs> and for me, it will be good because like other people, other people won't be able to use the most complicated yeah. one as well. <laughs> me, I'm just too lazy to install it. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had it a few years ago, and now it's like oh, too complicated. <laughs>